Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to this week's roundup. Kicking us off today is the news that three more races have been officially cancelled as a result of the current global pandemic. As I'm sure you all may have noticed, the 2020 Formula 1 season has been on hold since March and races including Australia, the Netherlands and Monaco have already been called off. But now it has been confirmed that the races in Baku, Singapore and Japan have joined them and will not be going ahead this year. A statement from Formula 1 on Friday morning explained that due to the long lead times required to construct the tracks for the races in Baku and Singapore, as well as all the uncertainty around the world right now, it made it impossible to hold those events. As for Japan, the ongoing travel restrictions were cited as the reason why that race had to be cancelled too. That wasn't all the information released regarding the calendar though, as the statement went on to say that the sport will continue to proceed with the season in a cautious and flexible way, and added... We have made significant progress with existing and new promoters on the revised calendar and have been particularly encouraged by the interest that has been shown by new venues in hosting a Formula 1 race during the 2020 season. Now it has already been widely reported that F1 bosses are looking at adding more European races to the calendar to help make up the numbers this year and tracks including Mugello, Imola and Hockenheim are all apparently under consideration. And on Thursday, Ross Braun confirmed that there is the possibility of holding more races in Europe, but nothing is set in stone just yet. Things are moving fast, but we still have time. We have lots of different options and we are very confident we are going to have a great second half of the season. There is a contingency to have an extended European season with another one or two races if needed. There are a number of good European tracks where we could add one or two races on to make sure we have a comprehensive season. We are not going to declare it yet as it is still a work in progress. Braun also added that he believes based on how things are right now, Bahrain and Abu Dhabi will be the backstop of the season, which would take the calendar to 10 races, and he appears confident that at least another 5-6 to races will be found to fill the gap between the end of the European leg and then those races in Abu Dhabi and Bahrain. And just to round this story off, it is expected, although there has been no official word yet, that Formula 1 is aiming to reveal the full calendar for the 2020 season before the season opening Austrian Grand Prix at the start of July. I should also add there is talk of running Bahrain on a different layout, and Canadian Grand Prix organisers have said that they are targeting a race this autumn despite all the current uncertainty. And Imola has announced that it has had its FIA Grade 1 status renewed, which means we might just see a race in San Marino once again. Anything but a Sochi doubleheader, please. Moving on, and we have seen cars on track this week, or more specifically Mercedes, as Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas both completed some running in the 2018 Mercedes, the W09, and that was at Silverstone on Tuesday. The test also gave us our first look at how teams will be expected to operate when the season does officially start, with unsurprisingly face masks, face shields, hand hygiene and social distancing where possible all on display. The team also confirmed that all personnel at the track had tested negative for the virus. And speaking about his day in the car, Lewis Hamilton, who had previously said that he expects drivers to be rusty when F1 eventually returns, said he felt as though he'd never been away. When you leave the garage the first time you get this buzz and it doesn't matter how many years you do it, it always feels new and fresh. Obviously this is an older car but it still felt fantastic. We got through a solid program today. I didn't feel like I'd ever left the water so that's a positive. I think every time you take a big break, I think it's been 103 days or something, you always wonder whether you can still drive. So it is a good feeling to know of course I can, I'm ready, I feel fit. Mercedes aren't the only team set to do some running before the season starts with Ferrari confirming that they will take to the track in the coming weeks and Racing Point have confirmed that they will be giving their 2020 car a shakedown at Silverstone next week. One team who won't be on track before the season starts though is McLaren as according to reports Renault allegedly refused to supply them with an additional power unit however it must be said the official line from Andreas Seidel went as follows. Unfortunately, we don't have this possibility of having a car that is two years old and we could operate because of all the powertrain switches we had here in recent years. But as you have seen already, Lando was doing some karting and F3 testing. We are looking into the second thing also now with Carlos to have the drivers ready and also we will do some simulator work with them. Next up, and Kimi Raikkonen has said that he will decide on his Formula 1 future at the end of this season, but his decision will be made based on whether or not he still loves racing. This year, we'll see the Finn embark on his 18th season in Formula 1, having originally debuted all the way back in 2001. He left the sport at the end of 2009 to compete in the World Rally Championship, among other things, before returning to Formula 1 with Lotus in 2012. 
But speaking about his future in F1 and whether or not he will still be racing in 2021, Raikkonen stated, I have said already that I will do this season and then I will decide. If I continue to enjoy racing this year, I will continue. If not, I will retire. It's simple. I love racing. I don't really care about all the rest, the interviews and all that, but I really like the feeling of racing wheel to wheel. However, despite his love for racing, Kimi admitted that he probably won't miss Formula One when he finally calls it a day. I don't think I will miss it. There are good people and I will keep in touch with them, but that's all. I have spent many years there and when I choose to stop, I am sure that I will find plenty of things to keep me busy. Over the years, Raikkonen has picked up a total of 21 wins, 18 pole positions, 103 podiums, 1,859 points, 43 of which came last season with Alfa Romeo, and the Finn still remains the last driver to win the Drivers' World Championship with Ferrari, which was all the way back in 2007. And Kimi is the topic for this week's question. Quite simply, do you think Raikkonen will retire at the end of this year, or do you expect to still see him on the grid in 2021? You can, as ever, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, but there's no poll this week as YouTube have now removed that feature for some reason. So I'll have a look at other options for future videos. And finally, the 2020 Formula One season feels just that little bit closer thanks to Pirelli, who announced the tyre compounds it will take to the first eight races of the new season earlier this week. The opening three races will see teams using the C2, C3 and C4 compounds. Is it sad that I've really missed saying that? Probably, but anyway. The two races at Silverstone, though, will mix things up a little bit. For the first race, the C1, C2 and C3 will be used, but they will be using softer tyres for the second race in a bid to try and mix things up just a little bit between the two Grand Prix. And as you can see there, it's back to the C1, C2 and C3 combination for Spain, with the C2s, the C3s and the C4s being used in Belgium and Italy. It is unusual to see the tyre compounds released all together like that, but, cliche alert, these are unusual times and Pirelli boss Mario Isola has explained why they decided to do so. With so many variables at the start of this delayed season and a flexible calendar that doesn't leave much time to react to changing circumstances, it was agreed to announce a compound nominations for the first eight races this year altogether. As usual, these compounds have been chosen to best match the characteristics of the individual circuits and provide interesting opportunities for race strategy. Do you know everyone, I think we might just get a season this year, although honestly I won't believe it until the lights go out in Austria, which is just 22 days away. Not long now, it's been a long old off season. That is it for this video though, I will be back soon with more content as ever, but in the meantime don't forget that you can of course follow me over on social media and all of the links you need for that are in the description down below. But as ever, thank you for watching and hopefully I will catch you again in the next one. Bye bye.